Jubilant Stories, unearthing the power of together. Hello, I'm Dee Drynan. I run DISC and Sir Ancestor. Uh, DISC is Disable Them for in- Information and Support in the Cotswolds. It occurred to me, that pe- most of the people that um, were attending my office were people who I was not aware of, I'd never seen before, but they were in Sir Ancestor and they had no money. And through the help of people like Barnwood uh, and various other charities, I've been able to help these people get disabled AIDS, which they could never afford. Um, then, I, one Christmas, um, just before Christmas, in fact, my daughter and I were sort of thinking, you know, it was a long time before Christmas, we were talking about Christmas. and. Um, and I said to Sophie, why don't we approach uh, Warwick, who was our priest at the time, and see if we could set up a Christmas Day lunch. Um, we'd have to get the support from the church and do some, um, go take a bucket round and get some donations and things um, and see how, you know, if, whether, whether people would turn up. We started off with about, well, I think probably about 20 people. This is going back nine years ago. And then each year it grew and grew and grew. Um, I I then had to take on a partner, Juliette Harris. It's absolutely marvellous. And um, between the two of us now, we have what we call our hidden people. We don't see them in the street. We don't see them out shopping. There's a lot of disabled people. And they're lonely. We have a um, wonderful butcher and our ancestor with his own farm. So the, the, the turkeys and the gammon are all off the farm farm. The vegetables are from a, a, a wonderful new vegetable shop because sadly my, my farm friend died. And um, so he does all the f- vegetables and the fruit. We have got the use of Jesse Smith's Bistro with lots of volunteers now. We get It's constant. We have to say, sorry, no more room for volunteers. Um, all the preparation of the vegetables are done at Jesse Smith's Bistro the night before Christmas. I do all the cooking of the turkeys. There are three whole turkeys and a massive gammon because I've got a big <laughs> oven. And um, on the morning of Christmas Day, well, we set up the hall on Christmas Eve. It's all decorated. It's got sweets everywhere and apples and oranges and all sorts of things. My husband drives a dialeride bus, which has got a disabled, um, if he can put uh, wheelchairs on. Sure. And he goes, he'll go out to all the villages, even in town, he's picking up people who can't get there, um, and um, drops them oh. off uh, before half past twelve. Then um, he goes straight to the bistro with the Dalarad bus and picks up all the, co- the food which has been held back and well, probably just ready and takes that to the hall. And do you find that people make friendships as a result of, of coming together? They are all. I mean, it is a fantastic day. These people, they all come in, they don't know anybody else, but they've got the name badge there. The noise, and the, I mean, in, in fact, we don't, we, there's no point in turning on Christmas ch- um, carols. <laughs> That's drowned out. Uh, and all the, pre- the, 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 all the local um, priests come along and they go along and chat to everybody. Likewise, the mayor does too. So if someone's watching this at the moment and they would like to do something similar where the, they are, how would you suggest that they start it? Um, well, they wouldn't, They probably did the way I started, really. It's just getting a couple of people together and going around and sort of probably about September time. Just, that's, that's when I send out all my begging letters uh, to... <laughs> <laughs> Mainly to Gail. Yeah. <laughs> I send out all my letters, big letters, and um, that's then, then the money rolls. In. <laughs> so you, you have a little bit of money to start yes. with. You find some local people that have a passion. Yeah. Um, how, oh, yeah. Who does the cooking? Uh, 
volunteers. So you find all some local volunteers. people that are good at cooking yeah. and that enjoy no, it? No, it's all done in Chesterman's Bistro. Yep. And um, yes, there are, there are a lot of people who want to help cook. Um, as I say, I myself do the turkeys and the gammon um, because they need the ovens for potatoes and other things, yep. you know, roast vegetables, whatever. But if someone wants to start doing that, I didn't think they'd find it very difficult, so I, I didn't. And perhaps you could talk to them as well if they wanted to do it, you could help, you could suggest some yes. ways that they might get started. Yes, it would just take, um, I mean, I, I must admit, I started alone. Um, but uh, it just takes a few people to have the idea to, to you know, get an idea, think about the, who's, you know, um, lonely or, or going to be alone at Christmas time, advertise that.